Good Saturday morning, Campbell Marshall, KPRC, Channel 2 Meteorologist. You notice the exact track radar showing showers in the Gulf. A few showers in the Gulf. And we're going to be watching that because a lot more moisture is right there, poised to want to come into our region. It's not going to come in in earnest today, but we'll see an increase in shower activity from yesterday to today, and we'll see a little bit more going into tomorrow. In the meantime, you notice a lot of the country under this heat advisory, all this area outlined here, heat advisory area, and because of that, look at the, the, the temperatures, the high temperatures, 97 Kansas City, 92 Memphis, 94 Atlanta. The feels like is what really creates even bigger problems for them, even though those are actual temperatures for us, we see these all the time, but if they don't get that all the time. And when you add in the humidity, the temperatures go way up. Dallas, 102 is the actual high for today. Us, 96 degrees. This big area, you can see this in the water vapor loop. The darker area is a drier air. And you almost see that circulation there. That's the upper levels of the atmosphere. And the storms are happening around that, especially up to the north in the Minneapolis area. They're going to have some strong storms up there. And on the southern part, we're in the southern tier of that. So right where we are, you can see the flow of what will be moisture coming in. And that's going to increase a little bit as this all moves to the west. It's gradually moving to the west. And so it'll give us a chance to have a few more showers. Well, also for us today, the feels like temperature, the heat peak of that will probably be close to 104, 105. So just because we don't have a heat advisory does not mean we don't need to drink a lot of water and stay indoors as much as we possibly can. You know what it's like. You walk outside and you can feel that humidity. That means we really need to be careful as we go outside. This afternoon, the actual temperatures, about 97, 98 degrees in Navasota and Brenham area, 96 in Huntsville, Tomball, 97 degrees, Bush Intercontinental, 96. I think as you get closer to the coast, temperature gets a bit cooler, cooler, relative term. 95 in Pearland, 94 in Angleton, 91 in Galveston. So the temperature is 88 at High Island, by the way. Uh, so the temperatures are still going to be on the hot side here for sure. Futurecast model put this in motion. Not much going on. 3 o'clock this afternoon. It's about that 20% we were talking about. Put that in motion. You notice they pop up and they move on. Going into Sunday, a little bit more spread of the rain showers are popping up, but about 30%. 30 maybe inching up to maybe 40. That's about it. And then the rain chances go up even more going into Monday. For us today, though, the hour by hour planner shows us getting up to the mid 90s, 96 degrees by 4 o'clock, with the rain chances about 20% and less. I think for us today, uh, some of you will see maybe a little bit more than that, but not much, really. Dynamo game tonight. If you're planning on heading out, 7 o'clock, 8:30 is the start of that game. It'll be 87 degrees, cooling off. On the peak of the day, 85 at 10 o'clock, get out and enjoy a route on the Dynamo. Or the Astros who are playing first pitch at 610 at Minute Maid Park underneath those closed roof doors. 20% chance today, 30 tomorrow, 50 to 60% on Monday. The temperature, though, goes down in the low 90s. Won't that be nice? That's your 10-day forecast. Do enjoy.